Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you guys all. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching another Lions Leadership Program. And sa mga tao na hindi pa ako nakikilala, ako po si Herbert R. Bacot. I'm the founder and president in Lions Organization. What is Lions? Lions is leaders in organized networking. The topic for today is the laws of action. Napapag-usapan natin ngayon yung mga action na dapat mo alamin and so you could understand action as well. Dito sa negosyo kasi natin, before you get your action, kalangan maniwala ka sa sarili mo. At from that belief, magkakaroon kayo ng excitement. You'll be excited. If you believe in something, sabi natin alam na alam mo na makukuha mo ang isang bagay nito by next month or by next two months or three months, sino ba naman hindi maging excited yan? Once you 100% really believe that you're gonna get one thing, talagang magiging excited ka. There's no choice. From that excitement, imagine mo excited ka. Sino ba mga tao? Pagtapos maging excited, hindi gagalaw, hindi mag action Sa tingin ko naman, lahat naman mag action And from that action, will create positive results. Now, ito nga sinasabi ko ngayon is yung bear cycle. You believe, you get excited, you have that positive action, and you will get positive results. Palaki po yung cycle na yan. It's like a snowball effect. Now, here's the dangerous part. If you have no cycle, ito sinasabi namin no cycle, this is where you will destroy your dreams and it's a very destructive thing na mangyayari sa buhay mo. So, no cycle, meaning you have no belief magkakaroon ka no enthusiasm, hindi ka maging excited. At pag hindi ka excited, mangyayari doon, walang action. At sa no action, sa tingin mo, magkaka-results ka. No. So you get no results. And mangyayari dyan, pag nag-cycle ulit yan sa, pag, sa no belief, this is where a lot of people get low self-esteem at nagkakaroon ng less self-confidence in themselves. Kasi tuwing nakikita nila na wala silang resulta, mas lalo pal- maliit at paliit at paliit as na pagtingin nila sa sarili nila. So get out of this no cycle. Get into the bear cycle. You have to understand about consistency. This is an example of a boiling water. Sumubok kayo mag-boil ng tubig. Patay sinde, patay sinde, patay sinde. For one hour, sa tingin mo kukulo ang tubig na yan? Pustahan tayo, hindi kukulo yan. Pero kahit maliit na apoy at pinainit mo mga at least 10 minutes sigurado kukulo yan kahit maliit so consistency is the best and this is where I put my favorite quote that I love saying now the formula in having a successful life is simply having a consistent successful day one thing kaya mga tao hindi nila magawa yung tamang action sa negosyo natin is because may mga negative thoughts sila now, I will teach you how to overcome your negative thoughts. Number one, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm a positive person. I won't let negative thoughts control me. I am a winner in life. It's very important that you have to believe in yourself. Kausapin mo sarili mo, ito, this really works for me. Before I go to work, I always look at myself in the mirror and I say, you are a champion. You are a tiger. You are a lion. You are an eagle. You are all of these great animals put together. And at the background, maglalagay ako ng mga music like, we are the champion, I am the tiger. Lahat yun, before I even get to go to work, talagang I'm all fired up. Number two, smile. Subukan mo, nalulungkot ka, mag-smile ka. Look at yourself at the mirror pa, sigurado, gaganda ang pakiramdam mo. Number three, surround yourself with positive people. Ito, importante to. It's true what they say. You are what your friends are. Kaya you have to be careful of who you hang around with. Pag puro mga kaibigan mo, mga emo, at mga galit sa mundo, at puro malulungkot mga sinasabi niya, maaapektohan ang paniwala mo. Ganun ang magiging pananaw mo din sa buhay. Kaya it's important to go to the office. Lahat mga tao sa office at nagde-training sa pagiging magaling na networker, lahat yan mga positive people yan. Power? Of course, power. Number four, change the tone of your thoughts from negative to positive. Ito, tingnan mo pang ito. Why do you want to be negative? Imagine mo if you're negative, you look like that ugly person. Tingnan mo pagka-positive, oh. talagang sarap kitiin, sarap ano yun. Mas maganda tingnan na pagka-positive. Eh. How do you change your negative thoughts to positive? Just stop thinking of the negative stuff. That's how simple is it. 
Remember what I told you before? The fears and doubt is a liar, is a image, is a is a pigment of your imagination. Totoo yan, ganun din sa mga negative thoughts. It's just a pigment of your imagination. Number five, don't play the victim. You create your life. Take responsibility. Don't play the victim. Paano yung don't play the victim? Ay, kaya hindi kasi ako naging successful kasi si ganito, si ganyan, si ganyan. No, don't point fingers. No one is gonna help you get to success but yourself. Success is basically for people that deserves it, not who wants it. Now, if you really deserve of being successful, then you will become successful. Pero pag hindi, huwag ka manunuro kung bakit hindi ka successful. Number six, help someone. Paano mag-overcome na negative thoughts yan? Have you ever come to wonder and think, pag nakatulong ka sa tao, parang ang sarap ang feeling? Yes, of course. That's why you will overcome your negative thoughts if you help someone. Kahit maliit lang yan, hindi naman kailangan masyadong malaki. Number seven, remember that no one is perfect and let yourself move forward. We all make mistakes in life. Whatever failures you have in your life now, forgive yourself and move on. You cannot dwell on the past for too long. Past is the past. Don't let your past haunt you now. Whatever you're doing now, mag-focus ka at move on and focus towards the future. Number eight, Sing positive songs. I love this. Yung mga tao na may hilig kumanta at mga tao hindi mahilig kumanta, pwede din dito. Ako, kahit pangit ang boses ko, kumakanta ako. Mga positive songs. Huwag naman kayo kakanta yung mga nakakalungkot. Katulad ng I'm all out of love or something like that. Basta siguraduhan nyo na positive ang kakanta nyo. Pag wala pa kayong mga songs sa mga positive, mag-compile kayo, mag-download na kayo. Mga favorite top 20 or top 30 positive songs na gusto nyo. At yun ang lagi nyo i-play at ikanta. List 5 things that you are grateful for right now. I-list nyo lang yan. I-post nyo. At every day, every morning, be grateful and be thankful for all the stuff. And thank God that you are alive and you are breathing. Number 10. Read, watch, and listen to positive things. Ako, for a very long time, I have not watched the news. I don't wa- I don't read the newspaper because marami akong negative nakikita sa newspaper. That's why I thank God for the internet. Kasi imagine mo, it will filter everything out for you. If you want to learn something, you can learn it by simply just adding it on the search box. Or if you want to see something or what's the stock market right now, Diretso ka kagad sa stock market. Hindi ka tulad sa news o sa newspaper, lahat ng negative ng mga sinasabi nila mapupunta sa utak mo. And that's very uh, dangerous. Especially on the person that's starting their journey to success. Kaya just read and watch and listen to positive things. Just say no to negative thinking. Pag nakapasok yung mga negative thoughts sa utak mo, switch mo lang kagad. Don't let it linger too long. Just think of positive stuff. You have to observe yourself. Hindi mo pwede ilinger yung mga negative thoughts mo na matagal sa utak mo. If you're realistic people, it could happen. Pag negative ka, and if you have that negative mindset, it will never happen. But if you have the positive mindset, it will happen. Remember, anything is possible. As long as you have that positive mindset, as long as you're with God, all things are possible. Now, you also have to overcome bad habits. This is one of the barriers that we have to get rid in our life to continue our journey of success. Now, how do you overcome bad habits? Simply by plan your day ahead. Basically ngayon, i-plan mo na yung day mo na mangyayari tomorrow para nakalaan na lahat yan, para hindi ka sabog-sabog gumalaw. Number two, before you go to bed, analyze on how you have executed it. Number three, learn new things and practice them. Huwag kayo mag-stop sa pag-learn. Always keep on learning because knowledge is power. But it's more to it than just learning. You also have to practice them and skill yourself up. Because one of these days, you might need that skills and it's a good thing that you have that skill. Number four, don't practice bad habits for 21 continuous days. Ito yung research and study nito sa mga ginawa ng mga psychiatrists sa US. There's a 21-day breaking the habit. Pag may ginawa kang isang bagay na kunyari, lagi ka nagtutulog sa tanghali, gawin mo siya 21 days na hindi ka matutulog. Pansinin mo, sa unang 3 days, 4 days, mahirap. Pero once after the 21 continuous day, parang hindi na siya mahirap. Kasi the same thing goes for drinking, for eating a lot. Pag mahili kayo mag 3 cups of rice, subukan mo mo 1 cup of rice for 21 continuous days. 
after the 21 continuous days, sanay ka na mag one cup of rice. Aba, nagbigay pa ako ng tips kung paano pumayat. Keep yourself busy. If you see yourself idle at wala namang ginagawa, come on, there's a lot of books to read and there's a lot of stuff to do. Ang daming dami mo pang kakausapin sa prospect list mo. Find ways to keep yourself busy. Kung wala ka ng prospect list, then try to find more prospects. Number six, don't turn back. Once nagawa mo na yung 21 consecutive days at na-break mo na habit na yan, Huwag ka na bumalik. Keep on going. Continuing just to keep on breaking your bad habits. Little by little, wala ka na maging bad habit at magiging hard-working, expert professional networker ka na. It takes courage to push yourself to places that you have never been before. To test your limits, to break through barriers. Break your barriers. The negative thoughts, my bad habits mo. If you guys want something you never have, you gotta do something you've never done. Kaya kung ayaw nyo yung buhay nyo ngayon, ibig sabihin baguhin nyo yung gagawin nyo. Alright guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this Lions Leadership Program. And my name is Herbert Arbacot. I want to say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all. And stay tuned to our next video training. God bless and happy networking!